In what follows, I will illustrate how you can do debugging in Eclipse. So you can see that I have defined a class retirement, which allows me to calculate the monthly pension of a person and print that to the screen. It has two methods, main and recalculate. Let's run the class. If you run the class, we can see that the output says David Johnson will have about $41 per month for retirement. Obviously, this is not a lot, and something must have gone wrong. We can find out what by using debugging facilities. First thing we do is we go to line 9 and add a breakpoint here. A breakpoint is a point where the program will stop execution when it is being run in debug mode. So I go to line 9, right-click, toggle breakpoint. Likewise, I would also like to see what happens in the loop. So I go to line 11, where you can see the recalculate statement, and also add a breakpoint right here. I'm now ready to execute my program in debug mode, and I can do this by clicking this bug icon right here. Yes. So now you can see that my program has stopped execution at line 9 where I specified my breakpoint, remember. You can see the values of the variables right here. Age, 30, retirement fund, 10,000, years in retirement, 20. So all looks okay up till here. I can now continue the execution by clicking this resume button, which will resume the execution until the next breakpoint. So you can see that the, the next breakpoint was in the loop. So you can see that some new variables have now been added, like name, which has been set to David Johnson, and I, which is my for loop variable, which has been correctly set to 30. So all still looks okay right here. I can now enter my recalculate method and see what happens there. I can do that by clicking this button here, step into. So I will step into the recalculate method. So here I can see what the values of the fund amount and rate variable are. So the fund amount is 10,000 and the rate is 0.1. So this looks okay right here. So now I can return back to the caller, which is right here. If I look back here, I can see that my retirement fund is still 10,000. So maybe that's not good. So I continue execution. And basically you see that the index keeps on increasing, but nothing happens to the retirement fund variable as you continue. So obviously, the retirement fund variable is not appropriately adjusted in this method. So again, let's step back to the recalculate method and see whether we can find something right there. Indeed, upon second inspection, we can see that this method is not returning anything. It's just returning void. So it basically should return the value of the fund amount to the caller, which is my main method. And that's where it all went wrong. So I can now continue execution. And actually, when I'm done executing, I can adjust my recalculate method, make sure it will return something, and then the error will be fixed. This finishes this demonstration.